Hey there, let's talk about bike packing gear, specifically for the GDMBR, the Great Divide Mountain Bike Route. The Great Divide Mountain Bike Route is the longest off-road route in the world. It spans 2,700 miles from Banff, Canada, all the way down to the border of Mexico in New Mexico, running along the spine of the Rocky Mountains. I'm heading out in one day to do this route, but unfortunately, I'm not starting in Canada because during the times of COVID, they aren't letting Americans into Canada. So I'm gonna fly to Whitefish, Montana and start somewhere near there. If you're new to my channel, I have tons of bike packing videos from all over the world and they're a lot of fun. They'll probably inspire you to get on your bike and ride a really, really long distance, which is good for you. We all know that. Also, if you would share my videos and subscribe, that makes a big difference and I would really appreciate it. All right, let's get into this gear video. Let's start with the most exciting thing first, shall we? My brand new Priority 600X mountain bike bike packing adventure machine. I made an entire video about this bike that I will link below, but I'll give some of the highlights right here. Let's start with the heart and soul. It has a pinion gearbox and a Gates carbon drive. This is essentially a no maintenance drivetrain. These carbon drives are really cool. They last three times longer than a chain and you never need to lube them. The pinion gearbox has all the gears inside here. It was inspired by Porsche transmission engineers that said, hey, we should have all of our gears inside and enclosed so the elements don't mess with them. And there's a 600% gear ratio in there, which is huge. Your average drivetrain on a mountain bike has about a 500% gear ratio change. So there's more gears in here than you would ever need. I've been using a setup like this on another bike for the past two years, and I absolutely love it. I am a believer in gates and pinion. Frame, it's aluminum and beautiful. I got to pick out the color. Also, check out my new sticker they gave me. Gave me a customized sticker. We have RockShock Rebus up front. 100 millimeters, just enough to take off the edge of all those washboard roads. Dynamo hub down here to create power, which will go up here and I will plug in my devices right there. We've got a little bit of back sway in these bars for some comfort. We've got 29 by 2.25 WTB Ranger tires. Again, I made an entire video detailing everything about this bike. I will link it below. Uh, this is a prototype, so this isn't out in production yet. I'm essentially testing it and giving feedback and we are going to make this as good as it can be and then we are going to sell it to you. Yeah, you right there. I'm talking to you. And now for all of the gear. It's amazing to think that all of this stuff is my life for the next 2,500 miles and you want to get it right. So I'm going to be trying to go as light and small as possible. When you're bike packing, you just don't have the same capacity as bike touring when you have those big fat panniers, panniers, bike bags. Let's start with camera gear. Do you see how small this thing is? This is my new drone, the Mavic Mini. It's so cute. I finally got my first GoPro. I've been a Sony action cam guy for years, but I finally switched over and I'm pretty happy. The 8 has incredible image stabilization. And I also put these on here over the microphones just to reduce the <laughs> wind noise. This right here is the Sony RX100. This will be my main camera. It definitely is a lot better quality than the GoPro and it has better sound too. Lots and lots of SD cards. Tiny tripod, lots of batteries. This boring looking heavy brick is an Anchor 20,000 milliamp charging block and this can charge my phone up six times. It can also charge the GoPro and Sony batteries. Do you realize that I pretty much set the trend for wearing buffs at all times? Usually I wear these to keep sun off my neck. Also they're really nice to get cool and cold so they keep your neck chilly. But now in the days of COVID, you walk into a grocery store, you're all good to go. Two merino wool shirts, my favorite brand, Showers Pass. I got some shiny new 
arm sleeves to keep sun off my arms. Two pairs wool socks. One pair of 11 pine shorts with padded liner to protect my booty on those washboard roads. Bike gloves, SPD shoes to clip into my pedals. Flip flops, puffy jacket for those cold nights at high altitude. Warm hat. One pair of long pants. One pair of wool underwear. Sleeping bag, inflatable mattress. Big Agnes Fly Creek bike packing tent. Solar powered inflatable Lucy light. Super lightweight packable rain jacket that my friend Zach let me borrow. Thanks Zach. Check these out. These are my new water bottle holder snack bags made by my new friends Kai Venture Bags. And they even made me a little get out there patch for them. This is pretty awesome. I will link them below if you want to support them. USA made in Southern California. Custom frame bag made by my friend Jenny. This is my brand new Revelate Designs Spine Lock 16 liter seat pack. And this thing is amazing. It sits really tight and it doesn't sway around, which is really important when you're on bouncy roads or single track. Revelate Designs Mag Tank. This goes just behind the stem and this is where I keep my Sony camera. So while I'm riding, I can pull it out really quick and film on the go and never miss those beautiful moments like a dog chasing me. Jerry can, this goes on the top tube it's up against the seat. And what's in here? We've got a Leatherman, tire irons, multi-tool, CO2. We've got a patch kit in here and some squirrels nut butter. This is like a, a lube just in case you start getting saddle sores. You don't want saddle sores. 64 ounce water bottle for the bottom tube. And my big silver bottle will go in my wide mouth bottle cage made in the USA. Colorado flag water bottle. I will have two of these on the handlebars. There are gonna be some remote sections with limited access to water, so I'm gonna bring one of these guys. A little packable HydroPack water bottle. Extra tire sealant, and if this doesn't work, if I get a really big hole and I can't fix the tubeless setup, I have one of these. It's called a Tubolito, and it's tiny as you can see, and they say it's two times stronger than a regular tube. Zip ties in case I need to zip tie something. I am gonna bring an extra Gates carbon drive. The chances of it breaking are very slim, but if it happens to break and I'm in the middle of nowhere, there are not many bike shops that have Gates carbon drives. Small stack of people for bikes stickers for the kids I meet along the way. Pump, pump, pump. Also, put some tape on there just in case. It's always good to have some Gorilla Tape. Cliff blocks and cliff bars. And of course, I'm bringing my good luck butter knife for scooping out cans of beans. Yeah, I'm bringing the shaver. I get lots of questions about the brand of my shaver. It's a Braun and it looks like it's the S3 model. I got it for like 60 bucks at Target. Bag full of toiletries with Neosporin and ibuprofen. This is one of the coolest new gadgets that I have and it's a water purifier. It's called a SteriPen. You dip it in your bottle and it poof, starts shooting out UV rays and kills all the bacteria and viruses, and it only takes about a minute, and you can recharge it right here with USB. And last, but not least, sunscreen. I have pretty sensitive skin. I have had basal cell growth in the past. That's what leads to skin cancer. That's why I'm always covering my arms and my neck, and I put this mainly on my face. Wait a second, I forgot this one last thing. It's my Wahoo bike computer. I've only had it since January, but I love it. I never get lost anymore. All I have to do is download any route I want. In this case, obviously the Great Divide route, and this thing will navigate me there. It's just like the navigation on your phone. It gives you left and right directions the entire way, and it gives you all sorts of other information as well, like how fast you're going and whoosh, the incline of the hills. Maybe it's not a good idea to look at that part. And that is it. After 15 years of bike touring and bike packing, I finally feel like I have my gear list pretty dialed in. And remember, I am gonna be making videos of the experience, so stay tuned for those. And I just wanna say that I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity. This is something that I've wanted to do for many, many years. 
and I get to explore small town America in really remote areas and I'm gonna be sleeping under the stars and it's just gonna be a lot of nature, which is a lot of good for my soul. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna watch my other bikepacking videos, I will link some down below. And I wanna give a huge shout out of thanks to Priority Bikes, Gates, and Pinion for helping to make this adventure a reality. Okay, that's a lot of talking. Now, it's time to eat some spaghetti and carbo load. I'm leaving tomorrow.